Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, the rumors are true. Huawei has a device with a triple camera lens setup. I'm talking about the, the Huawei P20 Pro. We've seen leaks and it's finally here. I got to check out the device a little early and I have to say I'm quite impressed with what Huawei has on the table here. Now, before we get into the camera, this is a 6.1 inch device with OLED display. Resolution is 2240 by 1080p and it's got that funky aspect ratio of 18 by 7 by 9 because it's got a it's got a notch. Yeah, it does. No reason why. Huawei says you can block that notch off or at least basically make it seamless uh, by going through into the software to do some changes. So there's that. That being said though, it's a really nice device powered by the Kirin 970 processors, which of course has the MPU, which plays a lot to that camera. And we'll get to that in a second. But you also do have a lot of great functionality built into the device. You've got six gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, and you've got a 4,000 milliamp battery battery housed in that 7.56 millimeter frame. It's super thin with a big battery. So that is actually really cool. Now it's charges via USB type C, super fast charging zero to 50% in of course 13 minutes. It doesn't have a headphone jack. So I'm very bummed out about that. There's really no reason to take it out. I'll always state that, but it does support uh, Qualcomm's Aptex HD and LDAC. So with those formats, you can get some really good audio uh, off your wireless head Bluetooth headphones that support, of course, both LDAC and Qualcomm's Aptex HD. Now, that being said though, the color is absolutely fantastic. It's got that color gradient. You guys have seen it already. It looks really good in person. They're five colors, but Nobody cares about the rest because that's the color you probably want when you were picking up this device. It looks really nice and it just kind of showcases what they've done here. Now the camera itself, as you look at it, it's it got three camera lenses. The first at the bottom is the monochrome lens that is a 20 megapixel lens. It takes those wonderful monochrome photos that you've seen, especially with their work with Leica. They've done a really good job with their cameras. The other two lenses are an RGB lens, which is a 40 megapixel lens. Yes, 40 and it's got also a larger image sensor size. I have the number on screen. And then you've got uh, yourself a, a um, telephoto lens at 12 megapixels. Really nice. Now, what, what uh, Huawei says is that with the new lenses, you're gonna get better low light photos because you've got better uh, sensor size. You're also going to get better telephotos. Uh, you're gonna get a 5X zoom with that. And you're gonna get a lot of features with this altogether. So there's a lot, we played around with the camera a little bit. First thing I'll tell you is photos came out really well with the rear camera, especially taking portrait photos. Took some photos of myself, uh, my buddy Ricky. You can see how clear and sharp the, the bokeh effect look really good. Just quick snapshots. The other thing is also got uh, with its AI functionality is quick scene recognition. So, uh, you know, if you want to take a photo of someone and you pull it up, it automatically detects as a person and it goes straight into portrait mode. So it does that. You can turn it off if you want to. That's the thing, but it's, it's a really nice ability because we all want to take portrait photos now. And that's actually pretty cool with this camera. It can detect, you know, animals, pets. Uh, it can detect um, food, plants, all those different things for scene detection to go into the settings directly and change it to match what it feels that it's best for those. Now I took a quick low light photo and it turned out pretty solid. There was some light coming in. It looked pretty good, but we'll have to do some more testing with that, but it looked fantastic. Now they mentioned the 5X zoom, which is 3X optical and 2X um, um, digital zoom coming in together and a quick side by side with the Galaxy S9 Plus. The 5X zoom on the Huawei uh, P20 came out pretty solid. I could clearly see the lettering as opposed to kind of seeing the lettering on the S9 Plus. So that's again something I definitely want to check out to see how well it actually does in the situation. The camera also does, does super slow-mo at uh, 960 frames per second at 720p. So looking at the train set, trains come around the corner, looks pretty good, really sharp, nice. I like it. I like that all these manufacturers are kind of getting along the program. Now the front-facing camera is 24 megapixels f-stop of 2.0. It looks okay. Uh, it's, it's still a little soft for me, but again, it's a quick test. Hopefully they change it before, at least they do some tuning with the software that they said before it comes out. Speaking of software, it's running Android 8.0 uh, and it's running, of course, EMUI. It's actually really smooth, fast. You can see how easy to navigate through. As I mentioned, six gigs of RAM in this bad boy, 128 gigabytes of storage. So there's a 
lot to go and play with, but I really want to play more with that camera. I think it looks pretty good. Now the difference with the P20 uh, here, if you're wondering between the Pro and the P20, the P20 doesn't have a 40 megapixel RGB camera, it has a 20 megapixel RGB camera on there. And it also has a LCD display at 5.8 inches, resolution is 2244 by 1080p. So that's the difference there. Though the P20 Pro is, uh, does have uh, IP67 rating, so you have that built into the device. I have to say that I'm really impressed with what I saw with the P20 Pro, and I think a lot of people will be, but sadly, this device is not officially coming to the US, um, but you can still buy it online, so there's still those options to do that, but I will try and get my hands on it to do a full review, do a camera test, check it out, because it's got a lot of features, and I think it's something that we definitely have to check out. So if you have any questions or any comments about the Huawei P20 Pro, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.